Good morning everybody, how are we all? Welcome back to the vlog. Can I just say please ignore all of these boxes I've got going on here. I have more all over the floor. As many of you know, because I've told you in the last 25 vlogs, I am actually moving very soon. So just please, let's ignore the mess. Anyway, I wanted to start the vlog this morning because we're about to have a really wholesome few days and I wanted to take you guys along with me because I feel like you're gonna love where we go in. We're going to see my nan. I'm about to go and stay with her for the next few days and it's always a very fun, chilled time and I know you love my nan as much as I love my nan. So I thought you'd like to come along. She actually had a fall last week, which I'm sure she won't mind me telling you about, but it's made me realize I need to make more effort to go up and see her. She actually lives in Coventry and even though I do go up a few times a year, like it's not enough. We're gonna make it more of a regular thing. By the way, she's fine. But, um, but yeah, she definitely took a bit of a knock. So I'm heading up there today and we're gonna have a little road trip on the way there together. My skin needs all the hydration it can get this morning. Like honestly, I feel so dry. I just think it's this cold weather. This is actually a serum I've been using the last few months from Skin and Me. It has only just recently released, but they let me trial it before the release date, which I was very excited about. But it's actually an azelic acid. It helps to brighten, hydrate, also helps clear your breakouts, which as many of you know, I am so breakout prone. Like it honestly drives me insane. So I have to be so careful which products I use on my face. But as I already use Skin and Me and I trust them and I love them so much, many of you will already know that I use the Skin and Me Daily Doser, which I'm gonna go and get it. This is the Daily Doser and this is the skincare I use every evening. But the great thing about it is it's skincare that's designed for you. So they adapt the ingredients inside to suit your skin and your skin needs. It's actually mentioned in a vlog just recently, but just before Christmas, I had bit of like a weird random breakout. But the great thing with Skin and Me is I could just go onto the website do a new consultation and they adapted my daily doser and now my skin is all clear again and nothing makes me happier than having clear skin like honestly after years of always having at least one often five ten twenty spots on my face at a time it now feels so incredible to be just more confident in my own skin and not have those constant breakouts so as i was saying in the evenings I use my Skin and Me Daily Doser. And then in the mornings, I cleanse my face. And then the first step before I put on any moisturizer, any makeup, SPF or anything like that, is my Skin and Me Azelic Acid. And I've really noticed a huge difference in the brightness of my skin since using it. And I mean, as I've already said, my skin is dry. Like there's no question this time of year when it's cold, your skin is drier than ever, but this really, really, really helps with the dryness as well. So yeah, I've seen a great improvement and I really do trust Skin and Me as a brand. Like they are the reason my skin is so much clearer nowadays. And so the fact they bring out new products just makes me so happy. This is also Skin and Me sun cream, which I don't know if I've thrown my old one away. I don't even really want to show you it if I haven't because it's actually gross. They must have put it in the bin. But I just wanted to show you how squeezed out my last tube of Skin and Me sun cream was. Like I used it within an inch of its life. So this is actually a pretty fresh tube. But I think this must be my third, possibly fourth tube of this sun cream. And for me, what makes this so great is I've used many different sun creams over the years, which you should all be using SPF every single day, especially if you're using the doser, because inside here are actives which means you must use SPF in the mornings, but everyone should be using it anyway. But yeah, the great thing about it is, is if you've used SPF before, and I'm sure you'll have experienced the fact that lots of SPFs kind of crumble on your skin. So when you put foundation over the top or like any type of makeup, it almost then reacts and goes all crumbly on your face. Like it is the worst, where this just creates a gorgeous base for your makeup to go on top of. And it's a really high factor as well. And you know, just recently I told you all that I actually went and did a HD skin consultation. Well, during the consultation, they actually showed me my skin damage of which I have none. Like I have the tiniest amount on my cheeks, which that's actually given me a little reminder to put some more on my cheeks. I have a tiny, tiny amount, she said. But other than that, she said my skin in terms of sun damage is amazing which is all down to using SPF every day. So this is your sign to order yourself some SPF and this is a fantastic one, like couldn't rate it more if I tried. But whether you are wanting to clear acne or work on signs of aging or rosacea or skin dryness, Skin and Me can design skincare to suit anyone 
and your needs and it arrives straight to your door every single month so you never run out and each doser dispenses exactly the right amount of skincare that you need every evening to pop on your face it genuinely is the best and i just couldn't recommend it more i've got all my friends on it i've got my mum on it i've got my sister on it it's so good and i do actually have a discount code right now for skin and me which is Freya Glow. I'm gonna leave all of the information up here. So that price is a great excuse to give it a little go. And if you are already using Skin and Me, try out the serum. And if you're not already using the sun cream, get this as well, because their products are genuinely, hand on heart, great. I couldn't recommend them more to you. I'm actually doing the most rushed makeup look ever. I just need to look like presentable enough to um, drive out there, which to be honest I could do with no makeup on, but you know, I feel like it's nice to make a little bit of effort. When I speak to you on here, it slows me up, and I've somehow ended up being late today. I mean, I say somehow like it's not a regular occurrence that I'm late. I'm late all of the time, and I honestly hate myself for it, but I got up this morning at 6am. Like, how is it already half nine? I'm sorry. What have I, I mean, I have actually been busy. I've been doing a lot, to be fair, but Time just blooming flies by. I also need to have a Barocca because I feel like my immune system is on the floor. I've told you so many times, but I love this Charlotte Tilbury blusher. It's so nice. Makeup done. I did it very, very, very quickly. But this is the outfit of the day. Just something really comfy to travel in. It is actually a cashmere um, two-piece set, co-ord, whatever you'd like to call it. And it is from Lily Silk. Then I have a cos t-shirt on. Of course I do. And look how gorgeous these socks are. I got them from Varley. They're knitted. I feel like this is the coziest outfit ever. I'm gonna chuck some things into a suitcase. I can't even think what I need. I feel like everywhere around me is such a mess that like my brain just feels an absolute state. What am I gonna wear tomorrow? I love that I did my makeup this morning and now I've just cried it all off. I hate it when people cry on camera. I think it's so cringe. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've definitely cried on camera a few times during my, um time on youtube <laughs> but honestly i'm having a bit of a meltdown i can't lie this is so pathetic i just feel like i've been so stressed with like trying to balance everything <laughs> i literally have snot dripping down my face yeah long story short everyone says um moving is one of the most stressful things you can do <laughs> and i'm not just upset because of that by the way like that's a bit ridiculous but i think i just have I just have so much, like, I don't know, I feel like everything's just built up. <laughs> but I just feel so, just so overwhelmed. Right, I need to pull myself together. And I don't even think I've explained what's wrong with me. I don't even know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just very hormonal. I think I've just got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot on my plate at the moment. And I'm trying to spin lots of plates at the same time and it's not really working okay, i'll be fine i mean i am literally fine like why the fuck am i going i'm so upset honestly i'm sorry if you're watching this and you're thinking like there's such bigger things going on in the world and you're crying over fucking god knows what i don't even know what i am well we are on the way i feel like i've taken a few deep breaths i spoke to my mum who told me to get a grip <laughs> In a nice way, you know, my mum's always tough love and um, and I'm on the way to my nan's and actually so far, touch wood, the roads are not too busy actually, they're pretty clear. I'm hoping I can stop at a services though because I'm starving and I really fancy a prawn sandwich or if they have a prep, I'd love one of the um, falafel ones but oh, there's a service here, oh there's an m and right, I'm going to come off. Just as I said that, it was like it heard me. Is it High Wycombe services? Fun fact, I was actually born in High Wycombe. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Because originally my parents lived in Buckinghamshire before they moved to Kent. So there's a little fact about me, you probably didn't know, I don't think I've ever said that before. Not that it's that interesting and it's not gonna change your life, but there we go. Hate parking in this car. Okay, we made it. Let's go and get some snacks. I feel like I might treat myself to some Percy pigs. I'm meant to be being good and I've been good for so long, but I just feel like I've had one of those days where I deserve a Percy pig. Oh God, where are my car keys now? Lose everything, found them. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here, wow. 
there's a Leon, there's a Nando's, a McDonald's, oh there's M&S food. I actually get myself some bits to eat at my Nan's. Shall I get a pizza for us tonight? Watermelon. My Nan loves a biscuit so I feel like I need to get her some cookies. These look great. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm gonna have to get them. This is my favorite sandwich ever. They also do love a prawn mayo. Sorry, but I just do not trust these Marks and Spencer's paper bags at all. Like, all this heavy stuff, this paper bag. Where's my hand sanitizer? There it is. Egg, tomato, and salad cream sandwich from Marks and Spencer's is elite. Mmm. No, I told you all that my Botox went wrong and my mouth has gone funny. Well, it actually is really hard for me to eat like I used to. If I am absolutely honest, this is a little bit dry. I was actually tempted to get a Leon fish finger wrap because my friend told me that they're delicious. I'm such a creature of habit and I hate like getting things I've never had before. Well, like I do try different foods, but when I'm hungry, I just like to get something I know I'm going to like, you know. Don't tell anyone that I'm going to eat these because meant to be being good but i just feel like today i deserve a sweet these are colin and connie the caterpillar and look they've got these little love hearts on them and they're so tasty mm. i saw a tiktok that said old drake like old school drake music just hits different and i couldn't agree more the last few days i've been listening to his album and it just brings back so many good memories from so many years ago oh you've been hurt this was one of my favorites back in the day, this song. I don't listen to the lies, I swear to y'all lies, you I got you. Yeah. But jealousy is just love and hate at the same time. Been a minute since we came to I love me enough for the both of us. Just I arrived in Coventry, I'm not actually too far from my nan's house now but I've just driven down a road that always reminds me of being young because when we were younger we used to drive up as a family to Coventry about four times a year I'd say because my immediate family live in Kent but all the rest of my family, so like my cousins, my aunts and uncles all live in Coventry so whenever we'd come up, it felt like such a long drive. You know, like when you're a child, everything feels like it takes forever. And Coventry felt like it was like driving to Canada, honestly. But there's this one road that as soon as we drove down it and I looked out the window and I saw the houses, I knew at that point we were in Coventry and not too far from my Nan's house. And I've actually just driven down the road. And I think it's called the Stonely Road. If you're from this area, you'll probably know which road I mean. But the houses on the road are so big and beautiful. And yeah, they're just gorgeous. Driving down it today and looking at all the houses felt like a blast from the past. And all of the memories from being young just came rushing back. I'm now at my Nan's house and I need to show you all this lampshade. <laughs> Look at this. I've always loved this since I was a child. I've always loved this lampshade at my nan's house. It's just so extra. Also, look at this picture of my nan when she was younger. Oh, so cute. Nan, how old were you in this picture in the kitchen? Oh, it was on my honeymoon. Really? So I was 19. No way. Well, you got married at 19? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Did you see the, the coat I was wearing? Let me see. The Mac. Oh, yeah. That's in fashion now, you know. I know. It all comes back around. So you Aww. think about it. I was 19 there. Nan says she doesn't really want to be on camera because she's not looking very glamorous. No, no makeup. <laughs> glasses <laughs> around my neck, proving I wear glasses. <laughs> Got your leopard print on though. And on <laughs> the shoes and on the feet. <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture you've got there. So you, yeah, you got married at 19? Yes. I had stayed them at 20. Really? Yeah, got a carrot cake, an apple pie. Why haven't you had a slice of this yet? Well, because I'm waiting for you. Oh, it's very kind of you. I might have some soup. Got more pictures up here. This is my lovely granddad, who is no longer with us. And my nan, this was actually down the seafront near where my mum and dad live, isn't it? Yes. This is my nan and her best friend, my auntie Pat. Look how glamorous they are together. <laughs> and they're probably going to watch this video together, so... Hi to you two. <laughs> she wants to show you this as well. Where's this from? Malaya? Yes. Mum and Dad have one of those as well, don't they? Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, that's cute. It was a very Oh, it posh. says there, it says it's a restaurant. I need the writing, but it says it was in 1988. Mm. How glad my nerd is. Coming to your nan's house when you're trying to be good and she's making you eat things like carrot cake, forcing it down me. And in every room there's bowls of sweets that look like this. I mean, it's sabotage. I guess I better have one. Nan wants me to show, oh, they don't look so good in the light. Because, well, they do look quite nice, but Nan wants me to show you the flowers that Reese got her because she had a fall. Didn't you, Nan? Yes, but it's been very good. I've had five lots of flowers. What would you say? <laughs> I've had five lots of flowers. <laughs> You're going to fall more often. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Please don't start doing In that. Week. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It wasn't very good, though, was it? It wasn't. Well, falling over is never that good. You weren't oh. drunk. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I but your bruising's gone down. Didn't you have two really big black eyes? Oh. I wish I could put the photo on, but it's too. I don't want people no, to see. It was. It's, it's quite upsetting. Scary. It's upsetting, actually, isn't it? But imagine someone. It was like someone had punched you in the, the nose, top. and she literally had two black eyes right the way down, like panda eyes. They were, weren't they? Yeah, from here. Yeah, it weren't good. But you're all good now. The bruising's gone down pretty quick. And it's well worth it, all them flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and cake. <laughs> yes. yes, John bought. Yeah. Patson bought me the cake. Yeah, the cake's a present as well. <laughs> as well as flowers. <laughs> Guys, let's just ignore my, um, my makeup because I've done it in about 35 seconds. But we're going to do my nan's makeup together because... Well, why not? You know, my nan loves makeup as much as me. Okay, so this is all of, well, my nan's got loads of makeup in the cupboard, but we've just selected a few bits from her own makeup collection, which is very vast, I have to say. You mean, it's quite obvious where I get it from. So we've got Dior Foundation, Estee Lauder, Charlotte Tilbury as well. <laughs> She's even got the Milk Hydro Spray Primer. <laughs> oh my god, you've got so much stuff. Okay, right, where should we start? We need a bit of moisturiser, yeah? Yep. Okay, guys, we've already gone a bit wrong, because I put the moisturiser on, and uh, Nana just told me she actually uses serum and primer. Serum first. Right, okay. Moisturiser next, primer next. Who are we teaching me how to do this? Yeah, but I must have learnt from you. See, you were trying to take a shortcut with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell a good story. What good stories have you got? I know what's quite a good story, but you might not want to tell it. Do you remember the, the light in the bathroom? <sighs> Do you want me to tell that? Yeah. So. Okay. Th this is for me. Right. Lovely George died. Who was my granddad and my nan's husband. Yes, and he was so lovely. Anyway, we had a light, two lights, over the sink in the bathroom. And uh, I got my son to look at it and he said, no, it had got to have an electrician and it was no good. Then I got my lovely grandson, who is an electrician. He had a look at it and he said, look, I'm sorry, nan. The whole lot wants rewiring. So I thought, okay. The day after lovely George died, the light in the bathroom worked. It's been gone five years and the light in the bathroom is still working. How oh. crazy is that? So the night, it was like the night... Was the, it next the, night? Day. the next day. The next day, thing. yeah. Next did day. You go up, didn't you get up in the night and you turned yes, on the I, light? Yes, I did. And the light that hadn't been working for how many years? Maybe four years. Hadn't worked in four years. And I'd had two people, an electrician, my son who's an engineer. No way could this ever work unless it was rewired. May and then the next day, and it was something that annoyed Grandad a bit, wasn't it? Like yes. he wanted it fixed. And yeah, the day that... after he passed away, miraculously the light worked. So yeah. you believe in the stuff? Oh, don't I you? do. Uh, uh, would you like to hear another story? Yes, please. Right. Um, Sorry, this is hard to do, isn't it? Whilst I'm a month ago. Uh, do I know this story? You might not. No. A month ago. She, she might not like me this, but what we all have to do. I put my phone on 
a shelf on the top of the landing, a bookshelf. And I went into the loo. And while I was in the loo, I heard this music playing. I thought, well, that's funny, because I haven't got any music on. And I do use, I won't say the name, anyone has one, I'll call it Echo, otherwise it will go on. <laughs> and I've got no music on. So I came out the bathroom, I thought, what on earth is that music? It was his and my song that was played at his funeral. It was some enchanted evening and it played uh, well, I stopped and watched the whole lot play all the way through. On your phone? Yeah. But it went on off when you had left it on the landing? Yeah. Oh. And I came out, well, I heard this music. Yeah. And I came out and I thought, well, what's that? Because I haven't got anything on. Mm -hmm. And it was some enchanted evening. And it played from the beginning to the end because I loved it anyway. And the song goes... Some, Some enchanted evening, evening. Yeah. you may see, see a stranger. stranger. Yeah, <laughs> we're not very good at singing. <laughs> but Granddad was quite good at singing it though, wasn't he? No, yes. He's but what, the, he had quite a good You see, voice. why it was... Sorry, well, the very first bit. date I went on with George, mm. he took me to Coventry Hippodrome. Yeah. And we went to see that musical. Yeah, that's right. And <clears throat> we all know Granddad wasn't... That's romantic. Oh, romantic, yeah. And uh, anyway, in this theatre, he turned to me when some enchanted evening was playing and he went, Owen, this is our song. Oh. And so, of course, for 60 years... It was your song? It was our song. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. I did actually, I think I knew that. Well, I did know that story. Y well, you... I knew because, you? Yeah, because when, it, when it was his funeral... You, you, you had that. No, it, it only happened a month ago. No, not that. I mean, the, oh, you yourself. knew the first <laughs> yeah. story. Of course, you did. What what year of did, you did what 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 year did you meet him in? Well, like what year was about it? About nineteen fifty three. And how long were you married for? Were well, you still married? But you we know, were married until, until for Brenda over sixty away. years. Yeah. Yeah, over Amazing. sixty years. Yeah. Yeah, we had our sixtieth. Uh, wedding anniversary. Do you remember that wedding anniversary where we came up and surprised you in that room? Yes, that what was, was that, 50? that. It was the fifty. Oh, yeah. we had we had a card from the Queen for that one. When did you get this, Charlotte Tilbury? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is it a highlight? Yes. Oh, I use that. Is that where you got it? Yes. Did you? <laughs> you copied. <laughs> this is a very pigmented blusher, isn't it? Nice though. Oh, um, do you like it? Yeah, it's really nice. Yes, so do I. Really nice. Um. What other stories? This is what I tell? use all all the time. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's lovely on your skin. What yeah. other what other good stories you got to tell us? I've got a funny story. Okay. So I've got um, this. <gasps> looks so nice. Okay. Listen. All the family know. My husband was lovely. <laughs> and yeah. We used to have some fun. Anyway. He wore half a set of false teeth. <laughs> and he had these half a set for years. Anyway, one day my daughter, she was here and he's bending down, looking down the back of his chair, feeling all in here, feeling all in here. She said, what are you looking for, Dad? He said, nothing. <laughs> she said, well, why do you keep uh, feeling down? Oh, oh, nothing. What are you looking for? He said, I've told you nothing. She said, could it be your false teeth that's in your back pocket? <laughs> I can hear you still laughing. Yeah. Well, Because <laughs> he tried to hide that he had them, didn't he? I, I love how you've got every makeup brand under the sun. Wow. Well, you've always had so much No, I've... I... Nan's the reason I've got a shopping addiction. I didn't say yes. Even Nan's got designer handbags. Can Sorry. you stop using your eyebrows? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell the truth. What? I haven't got any lips. <laughs> I've never had any lips. And I've told Freya constantly <laughs> I want them pumped up. <laughs> I have, haven't I? You have. 
If you want to sleep filler, you did ask me like year, like about three years ago yeah. if I could take you to get a lip filler. Yes. I mean, look at me. <laughs> Can't put any lipstick on. Look at it. Look at you when you're trying to put lip lines. Think, where's these lips? <laughs> <laughs> I had to um, I had to stop for a minute because my camera's overheating because it's That's so okay. sunny in here. Look how bright it is in here. Such a lovely sunny bedroom you've got here, Nan. But we use Lancome mascara. But my Nan was just saying how oh. long. Go. On. Yeah, I've got brand new. Is that brand new? Yeah, but I've done it now. Yes, I know. But... This is this is this is yours and Mum's favourite mascara. Oh yes. You've got Hourglass. <laughs> no, no. Is that mas Is that the same make? No, this is Hourglass. Okay, I had this for Christmas. Okay, what, Lancome? Yeah. That's nice. Well, hello guys. It feels like so long since I've spoken to you. I kind of feel like I should be saying welcome back to the vlog. Even though this is the same vlog. But I look an absolute wreck. Can we just take a moment? But my skin, my skin is glowing. Like, look at that forehead glow. Wow. Which actually reminds me to remind you you can get the daily doser from skin in me which is the skincare that i use every night and it's the reason i have beautiful clear skin but you can get that for just 4.99 and they'll also throw in a trial size of the cleanser and the moisturizer and the spf but if you watch the beginning of this video you already know that i just wanted to remind you as i looked at my skin but what i was saying was i look like a wreck i've been to pilates this morning but the last place i left you i mean that's not really an excuse for looking like a wreck but basically i just got up early and i'm still in the same clothes but the last place i left you was in coventry at my nan's house and we were doing her makeup but then my camera died and then her and i went down for a cup of tea and a cake and you know 25 biscuits which i just ate so much rubbish at my nan's house well it was actually great it might have been bad but it was so good but we then forgot to show her makeup look or carry on with the vlog so that was really great and then i went to my cousins we had an indian and then i drove home and that was on friday and that was actually on thursday and then since then i've continued to eat crap because on friday reese and i had fish and chips which were women delicious then on saturday we had an indian takeaway and then yesterday we had a roast dinner and I don't know why I'm trying to talk when I do this. Sorry, let me just show you. I've shown you this before, but let me just show you again because it's quite funny. Are you ready? Watch my mouth. Sorry. See that? What my lips doing? I'm not doing that like on purpose. This is a microcurrent device and it's so strong and it basically works all the muscles in your face. It's like a mini workout for your face and I've been using this over time because it breaks down or helps to break down Botox and as you guys know I had Botox in the, like this area of my mouth somewhere like anyway and it went wrong It's leaked into another muscle and it's made my mouth wonky. It is actually a lot better I've noticed it's a lot better. I it gave me a bit of a lisp and I had this issue of my lip is moving this way And when I really laugh I'm like ha ah, but it really is is breaking down which I'm so happy about because honestly it, it's been terrible but you know what there's no point getting upset over these kind of things because sorry I really shouldn't talk when I'm doing this because it looks so ugly but I can't get upset over these kind of things it is what it is and luckily it will wear off but yeah this is great for not only working out your face but also breaking down Botox so anyway I love this device it's brilliant and I love it even more now let me show you how funny it looks when I do my eye area it's actually hilarious by the way this gel I'm putting on is like a conductive gel that you have to use when you use this are you ready you see how my eye closes ready look I am not doing that to my eye look see I can't open it I cannot open it <laughs> it does it to itself how bizarre is that if you're thinking about getting this device i genuinely couldn't recommend it more i think it's brilliant i actually got mine from space nk and even though it's a pricey purchase it's really worth it anyway today we're actually going to i can't decide whether to go to central london or just to go to the shops down the road we've got some errands to run and you're all coming with me so it should be kind of fun i'm going to get in the shower and make myself look a little bit more presentable and then we'll get on our merry way. Look at the size of this bag I'm having to carry around. I'm taking some stuff back to the shops. This is my outfit of the day. Very casual. I've got my hat on to make myself incognito. I made it to Oxford 
Street, I've actually taken all of the things back I was carrying and we're now going to Selfridges. The beauty hall in here is huge. Like, look at the size of it. I feel like I don't often film in here because truthfully, you're not really allowed to, but here I am. <laughs> First stop is Mac because I left my eyebrow pencil at my Nan's and I've used the same one for years. This is it just here, shade lingering. We're going upstairs. Look how gorgeous this YSL bag is. Like the brown leather against the gold. Stop, that's really quite lovely. Wow, and these boots, stunning. How gorgeous this is, Luke Tom puffer jacket. Like, look, it's got florals and then the LV print kind of hidden in it. How pretty is that? Also wouldn't mind this egg chair in my future home. <laughs> One of the reasons I came to Selfridges was to look at the Skims Valentine's collection, but there is basically nothing left. But how cute is this? Look at the little cherries. But they had dramas which look like this, but yeah, they haven't got too much left. These are cute. But you meant to buy this as a top or like a bodysuit, I'm not sure. They do actually have this huge skim section as well, but they still don't have what I want. Look how pretty Liberty's Valentine's display looks. Look at that. I hope Reese gets me a bunch of flowers that looks exactly like that. I've come into this trainer shop in Carnaby because they have these shoes that I really want. <laughs> they also have the burgundy ones, which are very cool, and the leopard print ones. These are sick. This is the trainer shop, by the way, guys, but they didn't have the shoes I wanted, sadly. Hello, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. I always want to say this on YouTube because I watch a YouTuber that always says that line plus a few other things and it's kind of stuck in my head and whenever I turn my camera on, it feels like that's what I want to say. Anyway, hi guys. I left you yesterday when I was out shopping and I'm currently, clearly, not shopping anymore. I'm sat on my sofa. I've just finished editing this vlog. This vlog is actually slightly late, but it is not my fault, okay? So please forgive me with that one. I've had a few technical issues. So you're getting this vlog on a Tuesday instead of a Monday. My apologies. By the way, look at my red Christmas pyjamas in February. Who am I? Can't believe it's February, by the way. But I just wanted to wrap this vlog up here. And I just want to say the biggest thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I look forward to seeing you all on Thursday. If you're tuning in for Thursday's video. Or if not, I will see you hopefully on Monday for the next vlog. I love you guys very much. Have a wonderful week. Mwah! Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.